Uh, what I'm going to do in this short video is demonstrate how to use uh, sites and managing sites in Dreamweaver. Uh, so first of all you'll need to open up Dreamweaver and then make sure that you've actually got the files panel visible here. And now if you don't, if you choose the workspace drop down at the top, what you can do is reset the standard workspace and that will bring back the screen to look just like this one. So once you've got the files panel at the top, what we want to do is push the manage sites button and that's going to allow us to create a site inside Dreamweaver. Uh, so here we come to new site and then you need to give your site a name. Now this is our assessment task site, so we're just going to name it assessment task. You can call it something that makes more sense for your particular site if you like. And then we've got to tell it where the local site or where the local files are actually stored. Now mine are stored in a folder on my desktop. If this is the first time you've started with a site, then what you would need to do is create a folder that you can actually save all the files in and obviously that folder would be empty at the start. Because we've been using Notepad++ to start creating our site, we're just going to browse and point to that folder and that way our existing files will be imported into our Dreamweaver site. So let's push the browse button and mine is stored on my desktop. You would store yours in your documents folder. And so when I choose the www folder, which is where all of my files are stored, right there, uh, you can see I've now set up that path. So I'm going to save those settings, and here's my new site in the Manage Sites window. Then I just say Done, and when I come back to Dreamweaver, you can see over here on my right-hand side that it's now set up that site for me. Now the other thing I'd like you to do is we actually want to create a backup of that site. So choose the drop down there, go to Manage Sites once again, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this site, and you'll see there's an option down here to export that site. So if you push the Export button, what this is going to do is give us an STE file, which we can then import later on into other versions of Dreamweaver, and it will have all of our files and all of our settings saved. So I'm going to save that STE file into exactly the same folder, my www folder, and you'll see it's calling it assessment task, and we simply choose save, just like that. And so now we've created a backup of the settings for this site. Now, in future versions of Dreamweaver, when you go to a new computer, uh, all you would need to do is push the import site button, open up that STE file, and all of your settings will, for that site will then come back in. Right, so that's setting up a site, and then you can choose Done. Uh, now you can see over here on the right hand side all of our files for the site are now visible. We can open the files simply by double clicking on the file we want to open, and we can also create new files. Let's just close that little Git preview. Uh, simply by right clicking, choosing New File, and New Folders just by right clicking and choosing New Folder.